Welcome to another day in God's Word and the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Discipleship Plan. These readings are accessible through Amazon Music and Alexa, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Find out more at AliveChurch.com. We're up to week 20 now in our daily readings. This week, Purity. I choose to submit to a life of purity from the inside out by the power of the Holy Spirit. Purity is ushered into my life through a personal relationship with Jesus. I cannot make myself pure, but as a disciple of Jesus, I am called to live a life of purity. My lifestyle and habits do not make me pure, but they are purified through a relationship with Jesus. Through the power of His Word and by the power of His Spirit, I am made pure. It is the purity of Jesus living in me that makes me pure. It isn't something I earn. Though I cannot make myself pure, I can present myself to the purifying process through disciplines of the heart by investing time in reading the Bible, prayer, confession, and obedience. Purity results in living for and obeying Christ, but it is also something I choose by submitting to the Spirit's daily teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training. I choose to submit to a life of purity from the inside out by the power of the Holy Spirit. The work of purity happens within my heart. All the things I do and say to look pure on the outside do not purify my thoughts or intentions. This is only hypocrisy. To give the appearance of being pure on the outside but holding on to secret sin is to live the life of a hypocrite. My heart must be purified for me to live a life of purity. I cannot harbor impure thoughts and motives and claim purity. Purity must happen in my spirit, soul, and heart. Religious acts do not make me pure. I must desire to be pure, godly, and submit to the Spirit's work in my life. I will not become or remain pure by avoiding people living in sin, nor will purity mark my life through meaningless acts of devotion. It is through authentic worship of Jesus, following Him and living in obedience to Him, that my heart is made pure. Other people and messy situations do not remove purity from my life, but sinful thoughts do. Looking down on others without grace and love, letting my mind stray and dwell with longing or anything impure, to harbor wrong motives or bitterness. There is no man-made system for creating a pure heart. God is full of grace and mercy toward me as I grow in purity. He knows there is nothing within me to make me pure, but it is the work of His Spirit. I choose to submit to a life of purity from the inside out by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now for day two of our Bible readings for purity. Today, purity as an example. 1 Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Titus 1, 15 and 16. Everything is pure to those whose hearts are pure, but nothing is pure to those who are corrupt and unbelieving because their minds and consciences are corrupted. Such people claim they know God, but they deny Him by the way they live. They are detestable and disobedient, worthless for doing anything good. Psalm 24, 3 through 6. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. In our memory verse this week, 2 Corinthians 6, 6. We prove ourselves by our purity, our understanding, our patience, our kindness, by the Holy Spirit within us, and by our sincere love. Every day we provide these readings to help build you up in your faith. Please follow along in your Alive Church Life Transformation Bible. And if you don't have one, let us know. Just email us at office at alivechurch.com. Providing these daily readings is a ministry of Alive Church in Tucson. Find out more at alivechurch.com. Have a great day and be sure to tell a friend about these daily readings.